How does a Microsoft Surface Book perform when editing 1080p? Well, let's dive in and find out. Welcome, my name's Henry Reith, Fridge Magazine Editor, and in this video, we're gonna find out if my Microsoft Surface Book can edit 1080p video. This is a brand new Surface Book for me, so I'm really excited to see what it can do. I'm gonna put it through its paces and try three of the videos that I'm always editing all the time at the magazine and let's see how it holds up. So let's dive into it. So video type number one is the white screen headshot kind of background. So I've obviously done it on a white background. You saw the light just there that was right in front of my face, but there's the secrets of editing. We can see that I'm just pulling in a few effects here from After Effects and bringing in a scene to give it that text that you saw on the intro. The Surface Book's handling it fine. You know, you might want to render out effects sometimes and render out um, sort of things that you're dropping in from After Effects. Editing the text right here, I've got Photoshop and After Effects open and it's working just fine. You're seeing my embarrassing After Effects skills right this second. I won't ever write home about them, but they're good. They just about work for what I need to do. Anything else, obviously you want to outsource it really, but for these short, quick two minute videos, then they're really easy to do. So if we just zoom back in here, we can see that I just need to edit it again and that's opening up After Effects and it's handling all of that just fine. So that's all good to go. So that's looking good, just editing some text. When we dive back into Premiere Pro, we can see that I just need to edit a few you know how the scale and a few other things and it's good to go really this wasn't even a challenge for the surface book i mean i'm on the older generation one surface book and it's still got all the power in the world to to edit this stuff up and make it look really good you know this kind of video on my old laptop i probably couldn't have even done let alone a new one uh, or an old school sort of desktop thing but you can see that all looks good, it's all edited fine, and it only took a couple of minutes to do. The next style of video that I'm gonna throw at the Surface Book that I'm always doing is screencast tutorials and doing training for my outsourcers to actually be able to work on the website and be able to work on elements of the business, etc., etc. So obviously the, the first step is to screencast something, to actually record you doing something. And then I've, with the Surface Book, because the camera is so good, I've got into the habit of actually recording myself and putting myself in the corner. Just because I help, I think it, it helps the outsourcers really understand who you are and just makes them more attached to what they're doing and concentrate on what they're doing if they can see a human face. So this one's just as simple as we've got two videos running. We've got the screen capture and then we've got my face down in the bottom right hand corner as well. And this just helps, for me this has always really helped uh, with outsourcers actually just taking more engagement in everything and you can see the surface is handling it's fine you've got two massive video streams you know massive amounts of data going through it and it's handling it fine so to me this is just a case of editing it up quick a few transitions to help speed up the video when websites are loading and things and we should be good to go and the outsourcers I've made my nice tutorial and I've actually got my face on it that I think really helps so that's video number two easy easy peasy for the surface runs two videos, high, high bandwidth, side by side, no issues at all. So let's dive on to uh, the next section. So as we dive into video number three, this is actually a bit more of a technical video because uh, this was a huge audio file that I split up into multiple parts for one of my clients who does personal training. There's loads of transition effects, loads of extra effects, loads of scaling and all that kind of stuff, background music, the lot and you can see that it's, it's handling all this stuff just fine really. So this is about a 10 minute video, so I'm actually gonna export it right now and we can see how fast having a second GPU in your laptop really makes it. Bearing in mind I was also screen capturing this on the same computer at the same time, so it can be even faster than this. So this is about a 10 minute video, but really, really high export settings, like miles high, higher than YouTube would at you'd ever need on YouTube and it, yeah it's just firing through there I bought up GPU Z so you can check out the usage and stuff and 
yeah, pretty much the GPU, it's always taking advantage of it, always using it. And I think this video took about about 15 minutes to export 10 minutes worth of 8, 1080p video. So compare that to, say, my old laptop, there wouldn't even be a competition. I doubt it would probably be a few hours. Maybe the old school desktop with like crazy GPUs in might have come close, but the fact that I'm doing this all now on a Microsoft Surface Book, some laptop, is just incredible, certainly for us, because we're always you know, out on the road, always doing portable stuff. So for us at Fridge Magazine, this is such an awesome solution. So I'm gonna speed up the, the export right now because you don't need to watch every second of it and we'll come back and we'll see the final results in just a second. So there you go, it's coming in about 18 minutes, 19 minutes, and bearing in mind I was screen capturing this at the same time, that was probably the worst way to do it, but so the computer was working overtime and it's, it's worked really well. Uh, it's exported this 10 minute video with loads of effects on, high quality, uh, really, you know, miles higher than YouTube would ever need, uh, really easily. So overall, I've thrown all my sort of types of video that I do at the Surface Book and it's working a treat. So I just think that says how far technology's come. I used to have all kinds of massive desktop things or I try to outsource things, but for all these short, quick videos that either your clients are asking you for or for us when we're on the road and uh, at events and things, Surface Book's been really, really helpful and I'm just gonna keep throwing, th throwing challenges at it and every time I do, it seems to come up with the answer just fine. So thank you very much for watching. If you want any more information or is there any comments or anything else you wanna know about what I've been doing and Surface Book, leave them in the comments below and I'll happily share my experiences with you and let you know what I think. And if, if you've got any other editing techniques as well, chuck them in the comments below because my editing is is okay it will get me through but it's nothing special so cheers guys have an absolutely awesome day and catch you soon